in order to embrace your fetish, you do really need to be in a good mental headspace in order to embrace it and in order to be able to practice it safely. Um, I think people around sexual excitement and arousal can get very excited and caught up in what they want to do and how to build their fantasy and how to make it come true. And as a result, they sort of leave safety um, and some other aspects of like negotiation, they leave it to the wayside. You know, they kind of don't allow some space for those things. Um, and I, I think it's really critical that someone feels like they have some self-control when they're practicing things that are fetish-based. Um, because they need to be aware of, of their space. They need to be aware of their body. They need to be aware of their partner and the safety for not you, just you, but also for your partner as well. Um, so it's, it's very important that you sort of have good emotional regula regulation for yourself. So having that good emotional regulation allows you to keep yourself safe and allows you to keep your partner safe also. And that means things like not playing when you're angry, um, especially if you're angry at a partner, you know, you don't take that into a scene. If you're having an argument, you should be having that and negotiating that outside of the physical acts, just because there's just too much risk bringing those really high charged emotions into your sexual play. If you, especially if you don't feel like you can control your own emotions well. Um, so having really good understanding of what emotions you're experiencing would probably be the first good step for that. So is this thing triggering anger within me? Is it triggering anxiety? And how do I communicate that to my partner as well? So that both of you can stay safe because I think communicating your emotions and your emotional state is one of the most important components of practicing BDSM safely because you don't want to rely on your partner guessing what you're experiencing or how you're experiencing it. You really want to work on getting the language to be able to do that so that you can have a great time and keep it safe and keeping it safe and allowing your partner to trust you is what's going to create the opportunity for the next time, which usually most people want is they want to get to that that second scene that next time. Um, so to be able to do that, you have to be able to build that trust. And that starts with you. That starts with you having good emotional understanding of yourself and of how to control and manage and use your own emotions properly in a scene. Because you certainly can be angry in a scene, but you can't be angry at your partner, which is, which is totally two different things that should be um, separated if possible. And if you're a dom and you're really anxious, like it's very difficult to be in your confidence, which is a lot of the point of what you're trying to get out of being in that dynamic and being in that type of scene in general. Um, that's usually, you know, I hear that a lot from people is I, you know, this is my chance to have control. This is my chance to be in charge and have, have confidence and be the true inner self that I want to have shine out. Um, and they, you know, they just, if, if they're feeling really anxious, having control over that first will allow the scene to just be so much better for them emotionally as well.